Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 4th, okay? Well, we all know that the timing is good. So these readings are timeless. They could happen in the very near future, okay? It could be happening now, tomorrow, the next day, next week, something like that. And not every reading is for you, so let's just see what comes up. What do I have for a message today? Emperor reversed. So this is a corrupt leader of some sort. Very controlling. Narcissistic, perhaps. Doesn't have to be. This is somebody that, that came out of my mouth. So this is like a tyrant. It is a tyrant. Um... The Magician. Now, the Magician is a, is a card of action being taken. So there is some sort of action that is about to be taken. As above, so below. Somebody is receiving something. They have some sort of assistance. There's assistance here. And I feel like there's assistance from above. This is creating something. Somebody's going to be using their resources to create something. This is a card of manifestation. It's a yes answer. So something, somebody is about to do something. Okay, they're about to do something. They've planned it. They've thought about it. They're about to do something that they plan to do. Okay, it's well thought out. Um, this is somebody that is a master at creating, maybe even creating illusion. You know, the magician is very good at manipulation. So, you know, right next to the emperor reverse. And this is a masculine energy and this is a masculine energy. So I would say it's a masculine energy here. Okay. So we have somebody here that, you know, maybe wanting to fight. Because when you think about, when I think about masculine, I think about Mars. And that's what just came up. What I thought of was Mars, you know, and Mars is fight mode so I'm not sure if we have some sort of fight mode that is coming into play here um, this is somebody that typically uses their head not their heart but in reverse this is extreme so that I feel like we have somebody here that is power hungry they are definitely power hungry with these two cards extremely power hungry they want control. They want power. And they're going to do something to get power. Now, I, you know, I can't for say or for sure say that this is a narcissist. Uh, doesn't have to be. This is somebody that may have deserted another in the time or need, of need or didn't want responsibility or doesn't want responsibility. It could be somebody that's on the wrong side of the law. That is, uh, you know, I'm not sure if this person has become awakened because this is a very spiritual energy. This is somebody who trusts in the divine, right? That the divine, they believe, they have faith. I mean, the magician is somebody that has faith that they can create whatever they want, you know, that they can do what they want. Anyway, action is about to be taken. Um, Knight of Swords. So this is very fast moving energy. This is somebody making an approach, coming in very fast. Okay, this could be a sudden arrival, sudden departure. Um, this is a problem solver. This is somebody that uh, wants to uh, control, wants to be in the driver's seat is what I was going to say. This person wants to be in control. They do. They want to be in the driver's seat. So they are definitely taking action. We have action. This is action being taken. No doubt about it. Um, somebody may feel with the emperor reverse. This could be somebody that feels like they have lost control, right? They feel like they have lost control. They want control. They, they may want to take control of a situation. Now, this is a knight in shining armor. It feels, though, that there is a knight in shining armor that is coming to save the day. Okay, this looks like this person is coming to save the day. So there, is, there probably is going to be an arrival of some sort, 
Um, there is going to be an arrival, and I'm not sure what kind of arrival it is. Somebody is coming in. They are coming in. They're coming out of nowhere. They're, it's in the nick of time as well as I get the perfect time. I, and you notice there's somebody down here that may have, you know, uh, gotten themselves into some trouble. You know, they may, and it may be too late. It may be too late from, for them. I feel like we have two people here, okay? I feel like we have somebody that deserted another person or something happened so that they couldn't take care of them. You know, it could be a father, could be a husband, could be, a, you know, some, whoever this person at one point was in a position of authority, but now it feels like it's over with that person there's nothing you can do but move on and there's somebody arriving to that is coming to save the day somebody has manifested something as well with that magician card they they they've created or they've prayed you know because that's as above so below you get what you ask for the that as above so below is the universe responding to your requests Okay, we have somebody here that has been in a situation where they have not been able to break free from or they've been suffering or they've been praying. Obviously, I feel like we have somebody that has been praying for some arrival after they've been deserted or something by an individual that just didn't take care of them or got themselves into trouble. It feels like whoever they were dealing with or just, you know, didn't want responsibility. I feel like whoever they were dealing with had an enemy of some sort or, you know, may have been taken down. This person has been taken down or they've been taken out of their position of authority because there's there's somebody else coming in here, okay? This is this is definitely an arrival. And whoever this person that is coming in, this person is a warrior they are a fighter they are experienced and they they're it feels like they're coming to take you away whatever that means you know they're gonna take you out of this situation it's you're lucky consider yourself lucky that this person has arrived um, you may be making a getaway or somebody's gonna be making a getaway there is help though there's help to get out of this situation. Help is arriving to get somebody out of a desperate situation by the looks of things. Um, yeah. It feels like this person just, just, you know, they're headed someplace, you know, they're, they're not even really looking, but you run into this person or they see you along the way or something like that. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be dealing with anybody. But we have this Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles is hardworking, devoted, nurturing, stable, solid, secure. Um, this is taking action towards this person. Okay, somebody's somebody. This is this is somebody that is very creative, very intelligent, very skilled at whatever they do. Obviously, they have some sort of. We got lightning up there. This is sudden. This is some sort of sudden situation that is happening. This is sudden. Knight of Swords is sudden as well. So we have some sort of sudden arrival here. Okay, or departure, but I think it's an arrival. Anyway, this Queen of Pentacles um, has a lot to offer. Feels like. She's just very laid back, very, very grounded, sitting there waiting. Somebody is waiting. Excuse me. Um, they're waiting. They're waiting. Waiting for whatever it is. And this is manifestation as well. So we have somebody that has been manifesting something. And, it, and I feel like it has to do with being saved, you know, because this is a savior. It's a savior coming to the rescue. Um... There's help arriving to get somebody out of a situation with an individual that may have neglected them or abused their power over them or controlled them or this person may have been a narcissist, may have been. This person may have been, you know, a tyrant, uh, mean, very mean-spirited. And now there's help arriving. There is help arriving. Um... Hold on. Let's get some more. I 
Now, the Queen of Pentacles um, can be generous. She can be generous. She's responsible. So we have somebody here that is generous, that is responsible, that has something of value, very abundant. This person is very, very abundant. They, you know, just, just sitting here waiting. Just sitting here waiting for whatever it is they've been praying for. We have prayers here and prayers here. Um, waiting for their divine connection or something like that. Very, I feel like we have somebody here that is, is I, I want to say well off. And I know a lot of people aren't well off. But abundance comes in many forms. So whoever this is, this person is abundant. Definitely abundant. And has something of value. And there is an individual here that sees it. And they are going to take action. They are going to take action. They may not be able to control themselves. Eight of Wands on the bottom. So that is messages. Things moving forward very, very fast. This is also the Rods of Love. So this could be love related. This, this is moving very, very, very fast. Things are going to move fast. Somebody is going to be receiving... Um, news and it's good news it is good news they're going to receive messages from somebody that probably uh i feel like it's an arrival though if it's not an arrival it's messages that lead to an arrival you know an arrival could be you know the beginning of you know the messages could be the very beginning but anyhow um things are about to progress and i think they're going to progress really fast this is like a knight in shining armor that has come in to save the day after there's been some sort of neglect because the emperor reversed is neglect somebody was deserted you know they were left there. it's almost like left there to die and suffer in pain but whoever it is that they left you know is very independent very you know this is a card of it really is the queen of pentacles independent this is a hard worker this is somebody that um obviously create creates i mean she's a mother she's very motherly she creates um and that magician is a creator as well so we have a creator here somebody that is very creative they are about to receive something that they've been waiting for or something somebody's coming Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is the death of a situation, death of an idea. It's it's uh, somebody has been in a place of isolation. They've been in a place of solitude. They've been waiting. They have. They've been waiting. It feels like there's been some. Whenever I see this card in particular, I think of prison. Okay, they may have been in a mental prison. You see the Three of Swords. Somebody has been suffering. And I can see that they have. And they've been suffering over a loss. This is like a death. And I don't know if it's a death of an, an actual death or it's a death of a situation. I feel like there's there's some sort of death here. Whether it's happened in the past, yet, which I, for a lot of you it has. Or it's coming. Okay. I think that I feel like it's already happened. But if it, it may not have, we definitely have somebody that is about to, they've wished for something. They've asked for, you know, somebody to come and take them out of this situation and they're getting their prayers answered. They've suffered long enough. This, there's been suffering. Can you see the three swords here? What's the three of swords? Heartache, suffering, pain, you know, a lot of pain. So somebody has been suffering and I feel like, and, and you notice this sword is on the ground. It's like he's not even, this is like giving up, giving up. I'm giving up. So somebody is giving up and I feel like they've been loyal. They've been loyal for a long time. They, for, to somebody that abused them because the dog resembles loyalty and it's definitely a masculine energy. Somebody has been loyal to a masculine, but the queen of pentacles is all about value. The queen of pentacles is like, you know, what? I know my value. I know my worth. I know what I deserve. You know, and I feel like there's there's definitely an arrival that is coming in after something, after some sort of painful situation that has ended with an individual that, you know, I don't know if the person died or they left, you know, or they were taken out or they just did not invest. You know, this is somebody that was probably corrupt. 
right? This person was corrupt, they were mean-spirited, and they were manipulative. But anyhow, I do feel like um, things are about to change. Thing, I think that things are about to change because here comes uh, this warrior, whoever this warrior is. This person doesn't have any fear. You know, they're, they're coming to rescue. Somebody is coming to the rescue, and I don't say that often. But this is definitely something, somebody coming to the rescue, okay? If you notice down there in that where my pinky is, there's somebody down in the hole. You know, there's somebody down in the hole that, it, and if they're down there and just laying there, they're not up and they may, it feels like it's dead. You know, it feels like that, that person's dead. You know, and I'm not saying that, you know, somebody's going to die, but, you know, this is the death of a person or idea, but it's also about, you know, and whoever this person is, is probably being, been hoping and praying that they don't, you know, this doesn't happen to them. And they were left there. They were left there, you know, and, you know, it's 50 50 chance, you know, you survive or not. You may or may not survive. So, anyway, so I do believe that we have an individual that has been waiting for somebody to come to the rescue. And, well, here they are. And I feel like, you know, it's, you got to get up and you got to go. You, you, if, it's, if something is dead or it's over, you know, and death is, it can be many, many things, okay? It, it's a profound change. It's the death of a situation, whether it's an actual person or it's a situation. But it leads to a new beginning, okay? It always leads to a new beginning, so I feel like there's a, that, I mean, if you think about this Ace of Swords on the ground, that, that's giving up. No more communication. That's accepting the truth. The sword, one sword, the Ace of Swords, is about truth. It's about uh, realizing the truth. It's, it's, it's letting go of the power as well. It's just, you know what, it's over. And, and, there's, and, and whoever this person that has been waiting has been loyal. They have been loyal for a long time, right? Or they've been, they've been, waiting for this person to wake up and this person's not going to wake up because you know uh maybe they're a narcissist maybe they're a tyrant maybe they're controlling maybe they don't want responsibility and perhaps this is a wake-up call i mean the magician is an awakening so i do see an awakening here somebody is going through an awakening could be a spiritual awakening and they have manifested something somebody has manifested some sort of arrival okay after something has caused a lot of pain a lot because there's the three of swords and this is you know and and that and and there's no there's no going back it's over it's over it's over it's over you know it's over so there is an arrival. There is definitely an arrival for this person that has learned their value or knows their value and has a lot to offer. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, this is a golden opportunity. Oh my God, that just fell out. I didn't even look when I said it. I hadn't even looked yet. And this is a golden opportunity as well. I hadn't even looked. And I started to say it, and it fell out, and then I looked down. Oh, thank you, God. Anyhow, um, and somebody may be saying, thank you, God. This is a golden opportunity. It absolutely is. Somebody has manifested something real, something solid, something stable, and they are being given. This is a gift. It's a gift of abundance. We have abundance here as well. So somebody is going to be receiving an offer. It is a big one. We've been talking about this. There's, there's definitely a shift. Whoever has abandoned or neglected or deserted a person in their time of need, I feel like that person is about to lose out. They are, you know. Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity for abundant stability. Security. Somebody's going to receive something. They're going to receive an offer that leads them down a path to abundance. It's exactly what they what they asked for. This is a permanent situation, okay? This is what you asked for. The answer is yes, yes, yes. These are both yeses right here. Yes, this is what you asked for. This is what you've been waiting for. 
let go of that, you know, somebody, something about a prisoner here as well, because this reminds me of a prison and this looks like it's a, a you know, in that hole may have something to do with prison. Somebody may be going into the hole if you got somebody that's in prison. Unfortunately, I know the term. So anyhow, um, something about prison. Somebody may end up, you know, going to prison and I don't know whose message that is for. Um, we definitely have a corrupt leader here that um, has deserted somebody. They have manipulated. Something is happening. Could be dealing with a father figure if I didn't say it all already. Or a business owner that is very, very... Um, money hungry. There is also there are uh, there's also somebody here that is very um, financially stable that has a lot to offer, and I feel like they are that that's the person that has a lot to offer that knows their value, um, that is very grounded, that believes this is somebody that believes that they can manifest. And, and that's the key to manifestation, okay? But you can't do things against people's will, okay? You have to, you can't, you can't say, I want so-and-so. You have to leave it up to the universe. You have to say, you know, please bring me the solid, stable opportunity that I truly deserve. And when you believe it, that's when it happens, when you believe in the universe. But anyhow, but you can't do it against a person's will. That, no, mm-mm. No, this is very positive energy. When you try to will somebody into your life that is, you know, when it's dead, that's not, gonna, then you're just going to die alone because it doesn't work like that. Anyhow, there is a new opportunity here that leads to stability. Whether this is a job offer or a relationship offer, somebody is has asked for abundance. They have asked for uh, something permanent and solid, and they're going to get it. After they have been abused by an individual, maybe this person was money hungry, or this person was abusive, you know, they were inexperienced. There's been some sort of power struggle here with a very masculine energy who has abused their power. Um, and I feel like this person that has abused their power is going down. They're down. They're down. I feel that's like that's the person in the hole. That's the person that's not not getting another chance. It's dead. It's over. So anyhow, um, With the Knight of Swords, we have that. The Knight of Swords is a person that is fearless. This person is very daring. They are not, you know, they, they're going to, they're going to, they're coming to the rescue and they don't have any fear, right? They don't. This person is very focused. They're focused on the task at hand. And the task at hand is to break somebody free of a desperate situation. So somebody is going to be broken free of a desperate situation before they die. And maybe it's dying alone. You know what I mean? Because this is alone. It is. And so whatever it is, there is, there is somebody coming in really, really fast. Um, Empress. I was going to clarify the Knight of Swords, which totally makes sense. So the Empress is creating a new life. It's the birth of a new life. This is beautiful. Time's up. Time's up. You know, she's, she's, it's like ready, ready to pop. It is definitely ready to pop. Time is up. The waiting period is over. It's over. It's time. It's time for your new life. It's time for the blessing. It's a miracle. It is. And this is a miracle that this person has come at this time. Consider yourself blessed. This is a gift. For some of you, it may have to do with a child. There could be a child that is involved. A gift of a child. I don't know. Somebody is receiving a gift. Okay? It is something that... They've asked for, they, and, and maybe they manifest, 
through their thoughts without even knowing it. So your thoughts manifest. Okay, you may not know it, but even if you don't believe and you're thinking things, the universe hears it. But believing amplifies it. Okay, it's like it's that's like the magnifier. But anyway, the four of swords. That I feel like we have somebody here that has been waiting. They've been sick, maybe, or they've been in isolation, or they've been by themselves, or you know, something. They've been suffering. They've been waiting for somebody to come. They've been waiting for. Uh, this gift, they've been waiting for this savior, they've been waiting for whatever this offer is, and well, here it is. It is time for you to receive your reward for the pain that you went through because the Empress doesn't give birth without pain, and anybody that says she does is full of shit. So anyhow, um, there is pain involved, but this is releasing the pain. Releasing the pain, you are about to receive a blessing that is more beautiful than anything you ever experienced. Good luck.